Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're gonna review Tocanto, which is one of the five or six releases that Espresso just came out with. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. Okay, so I have the box right here, and I'm just gonna briefly read what the box says. It says it's a barrel of fine South and Central American coffee origins and gathered together in Tocanto to bring you a wild, juicy coffee with candied and ripe fruity notes. It's an all Arabica blend. It beautifully balances acidity and body in an aromatic in an aromatic cup so that's what the box says i'm gonna go on their sites because i always like seeing what their website describes the capsule as and then sometimes they even kind of tell you how to drink it best so just want to check that out all right so tocanto it's a berry and winey capsule intensity level five it's an espresso capsule which is actually really nice i've always said that the virtual line doesn't have a lot of espresso variety and i feel like with this launch they launched three new espressos one two three yeah three new espressos and then one longo i do have all of them so side note i am going to try to review most of them but Takanto is an espresso intensity level five and then their aromatic notes it's candy fruit and pineapple I wonder, I'm sure that stuff will kind of go away with the milk, but I'm actually really excited to drink it without milk and see what it tastes like because I've never seen pineapple on a capsule. So that's very interesting. It actually doesn't say how to drink it. Like sometimes they'll say like, you know, with milk and this and that. So it doesn't, it just says the same thing that the box says. The only thing that I found interesting is the fact that it says candied fruit pineapple so you guys know the drill but if you guys are new here i'm gonna try it black then i'm gonna add some milk to it and then last i'm gonna add some syrup just to see how it complements well with maybe certain syrups that i have i actually think i have a pineapple syrup oh my god yes i have a pineapple syrup but i don't know if i'll do that we'll see all right so let me open the box and see how this capsule looks like and by just the color of the box i'm assuming that it's gonna be like a nice magenta pink and it is, oh my God, it is so pretty, so pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and brew this up and then we're gonna try black. I know that you are having a hard time right now. So let's smell it. Oh, this one smells really good. It smells fruity. I don't, let me see. It's like a fruity, tangy kind of scent, but I don't quite smell the, the pineapple. Although the pineapple was supposed to be the, no, the aromatic notes are supposed to be pineapple. I don't, I don't, maybe a tiny bit, but not, not incredibly much. The aromatic notes, aromatic profile. Does anybody, you would think I would know. Sometimes I get confused because it says aromatic profile and aromatic notes. If you know the difference, let me know. Sometimes it's the same depending on the pot, but in this case, the profile is a very whiny profile and then the notes are fruit, candied fruit and pineapple. All right, let's try it. It doesn't smell bad. Some, some do, this one doesn't. And I'm actually excited to drink it black, which never happens. This is pretty good. Again, I would never drink it black, but it was very nice to drink. Let's try it again. Not bad, it is definitely fruity. So if you like your coffee, black no milk and you like that fruitiness i think you guys would like this one it's pretty pretty good i would say let's try it with milk for milk i'm gonna do chobani oat zero sugar plain just so that it doesn't interfere with anything that we're doing with the pod and i'm gonna do about a quarter cup of milk just because we're only doing one espresso shot so i don't need too much milk here's the coffee and then I'm going to pour the milk in. There we go. Give it a little mix. Okay. Mm. 
This spoon knife was a little disappointing. <clears throat> Let's try it. Okay. Okay, it's weird because I'm not hating it, but the fruitiness definitely went away and now it tastes nutty to me. It's weird. That's funny because I actually like how it tastes, but I'm just being thrown off because it was very, very fruity and almost tangy. And now it's like nutty and smooth and just easy to drink. Okay, so now that I'm tasting it this way with milk, I feel like I'm just gonna add some French vanilla to the milk because it actually is really nice with the milk. If you don't like fruitiness, but you like some kind of nuttiness, it's, Take, don't take my word for it, maybe just try it, but it is very nutty right now with the milk. Let's put a little bit of French vanilla and see how it tastes this. And I'm just gonna do a little dash, just like that. Spoon once again. That's nice. This is really good. I love how smooth it is. It's almost velvety, like it's just easy to drink. There's no bitterness, there's no like burnt taste. But it was definitely throwing me off because of the of the fruitiness, like the whole profile, like aromatic, berry, winey, candied fruits, pineapple. There's nothing like all of that goes away with milk. But it's good. I like it. It's good. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, guys, this is a really good one. It's a really good one to drink hot. And I can imagine that it would taste really good iced. I'm not going to put iced in it right now just because it's it's a taste test. So. I'll try it iced in one of my reels. It's really good. It is so good. This is how I'll describe it because describe it I feel like I'm going in circles and I'm just confusing myself. But with milk, it tastes like a nutty sweet cereal pod. And it's funny because it doesn't say that at all in the description. It's more fruity, candy, whiny, berry, all that stuff. But I feel like once you add the milk, all of that goes away and you're left with a nice nutty sweet cereal pod so that is really good i love it i love it and you know what if i was a black coffee drinker that likes fruity coffee then i would say definitely give this a try because it is like on the money where they're saying fruity it, you could definitely taste the fruitiness without milk but guys milk just does wonders to different pods sometimes it meshes well with the um aromatic profile and sometimes it doesn't in this case it changed it completely but i'm not mad at it i like it a lot if it becomes a permanent i think it is a permanent pot it's one that i could see myself repurchasing for sure because there's no like bitterness there's no burn tasting very smooth so yeah i think it's a good pot overall i kind of want to taste test another one so i think i'm gonna do two taste tests in one video so let me get i think i'm gonna do il cafe and you know what il cafe is not even a new pod they just made it limited edition for a while and now they, they're bringing it back tocanto is a level five and il cafe is a level 11. when i tried it last year it was during their holiday season and i i liked it surprisingly so i'm gonna try it again today okay so this is il cafe i don't know why i ripped it as i was coming here but just briefly telling you guys what the box says it says il cafe takes you right to the heart of the classic italian coffee experience we land that pouchy oh sorry <laughs> punchy combination of smooth velvety taste and roasty cereal aromas by blending vietnamese and indonesian washed robustas with a little colombian arabica sounds nice and then just briefly just gonna read what the um website says i think this is why i like it it's a roasted cereal pod smooth and velvety profile like i've said in many videos i love anything that says sweet cereal biscuity velvety like half calf that velvety smoothness half calf is a, a really good pad but that's what this one is intense coffee beautifully complex and it's roasted and cereal notes velvety smooth texture hints of woody and cocoa aromas add to this classic coffee's rich character so cocoa aromas i think i'm gonna maybe pair it with um the white chocolate syrup before we brew it let me just show you guys what the color is and it is actually quite different from what il cafe used to look like it used to be blue with some like gold geometric shapes 
and now it's just a green boring color <laughs> but yeah that's what it looks like and the price is $8.50 for the sleeve so let's give it a go Ooh, this one smells intense the crema is like super velvety oh it smells good now that I actually smell it, kind of like from afar, I kind of like smelled it real intense. But now that I'm smelling it up close, it smells really good. I think I like how it smells better than the um, Tecanto. But I still like Tecanto with milk. It's really good. I could definitely smell like the cereal, um, roasted cereal notes. It smells good. Okay, let's try it. Now this one is a little nerve-wracking because this is more intense. That is uh, quite, quite the level 11. Oh no, <laughs> the second one was worse. Okay, listen, Kazar I believe was a level 11 and I ended up liking that one with milk. So let's try it with milk. And again, I remember liking this one and I don't think they changed it. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think they changed it. So with milk, I think it was really good. All right, got my cup. Milk, let's pour some in. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit more. Whatever's left in there. I'm gonna give it a little mix. The spoon mix was actually like, I couldn't tell anything. So let's try it now. Yes, it's very nutty with milk. You know what? It tastes almost like Tocanto, but a little bit more intense. Because I could definitely taste the nuttiness. It's really good. I like it. I like it. I think this one would be really nice with lattes, like ice lattes, because it's a little bit more powerful. Like you get more of a kick of the coffee flavor. So if you guys like ice lattes, I think this one would be really good, except I would use two pots because I know some people will tell me like, you can reuse one pot. No, no, you can't. The second one always seems like it's watery and I just don't like it. So two pots for an ice latte, I think this one would be awesome. So good. Let me try it with white chocolate. I like that syrup, so let's see what it tastes like. I have it right here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of it. Give it a little mix. Ooh, so good. Oh my God. That is really good. This is by far the best tasting pot I've had with this syrup. Or maybe I'm just biased because I'm trying it now, but it's really good. Wow. Wow, that is really good. If you guys like white chocolate mochas, <laughs> I think this pot with that syrup is going to be good. And you know what? They actually sent me, Monin actually sent me their white chocolate sauce. So I'm going to go a little bit. I'm going to just put a little bit of this in here. Oh, I think my son is like trying to fall back asleep. He's napping, but okay. Wow, this is really good. <gasps> okay, Il Cafe ice lattes, here we come. That is so good. Yes, guys, Il Cafe is really nice. This is exciting because, like I said, Virtual Line doesn't have a lot of espressos. And for me to like already those two, it's really, really exciting. And again, Il Cafe is also one that I can see myself repurchasing. The one I'm really excited about is Orafio. That one has caramel notes as part of the aromatic profile, I think it was. And so I'm really excited to try that one out. If that one works out, then all three espresso launches from Nespresso's Virtual line were hits because these two were really good. Really good with milk. With milk, okay? With milk because this one without milk I, it's a little too intense. But if you like intense coffee, you like black coffee without milk, I think you guys will definitely like Il Cafe either way. And if you like black, like fruity coffee, then I think you guys will like Tocanto. But if you're not into all of that, as long as you add milk to them, I think you guys would really enjoy them. So definitely worth a try. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. 
Bye.